Hey, I like this axe, friends. Look it. It's an HB, by the way. Yeah, it just got nice. I think it's a Col well, it is a Colby Owen handle. This is a Colby Owen handle right here. chips lying around here. I'm gonna clean this up. Okay, there's the two home lights. I'm gonna fire up the, uh, so what I'm doing is making a chopping block, friends, for Wendy over here. She's got her little, she likes her kindling little chopping block place, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna roll it over there. Start with that. I haven't run this 130 in a long time, friends. Kinda wanna run it. See? I hit a nail in one of these rounds, and I'll bet you, yeah? Oh, you see, there's just, come here, you. Oh, sure it is, <laughs> sure it is. It is right there, look at it. You guys can see that from there, can't you? Look, right there. Steel. Right there.
I don't run that more often. Listen to it. So friends, good morning. I don't know if you remember, but I did a video a long time ago on an XL76 stock, and I was really impressed. This little system here, this 130 and the XL76, friends, these are great, strong little saws out of the factory. Kind of blew my mind when I first ran one. Wild, wild. I love these saws. Love them. I'm going to get... Running more vintage saws, friends.
Okay. Now, I should almost, we should almost do a test of, of profiles. How they, how they stick and how they don't stick. go done done friends okay look at that beautiful chopping block for wendy oh she's gonna love it friends the other one's pooched we'll burn it me and hogan got hungry testing saws in it <laughs> right those things okay so i just want to share a little thing or two with you all right so we're getting this cleaned up, but there's there's a purpose for all the wood, friends, okay? There is. There's a purpose for all the wood. Now, tui, I should almost, I should almost get out. Um, I guess I can take my saw pants off now. I got these homemade jobbies I, when I'm just doing a, a little cut. And and they're they're interesting. They're I made them. You see, friends? They go like this. They tie. And uh, they're actually great. See that? Did you see what just happened there? Very important. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Here, let's do this. This will help. There. Now I can hang on to the handle of the axe. Take this off. Like that. Put that back on so I'm not falling down. Take this boot off. Take this sucker off. See that, friends? These are my old jeans that I, uh, I'm, I'm trying to be safer, friends. I, I, honestly, I am. I'm not, I'm not kidding around. I want to be safe. And when I, I do lots of jobs where I just do a little cut here, a little cut there, and I don't wear saw pants. So if I got something like that that I can quickly bolt on, uh, I'm, I'm loving it. Now, friends, you know this axe, okay? I literally am going to show you something right now. I can show you on that. This we know what's gonna, ha I know what's gonna happen. Instantly, boom. It's that kind of ax, friends. See, look at it. It's just sharp. There it is, done. So we know this about, I already know this about this profile. And I'll, I'll show you. See that, done. Split, it's split in half. Now, this is that one I made the other day. I'm gonna show it to you one more time. This is, friends, a wicked profile, okay? Uh, this is what I was doing with the wood bullet, kind of. I might even change things up on the wood bullet a little bit. See, the thing with the wood bullet is I didn't have it in my own hands, you see? Someone else was making it, that, that uh, Conrad young fella. I'm kinda glad it didn't work out. Now I get to go where I need to go. You see what I'm saying? Sharp to enter. And friends, I, listen, boom. If you can't do that, you're, you're not sharp enough or depending on the wood, depending on the wood. So here's why I kind of like this. Okay, right? We know this. We've seen me do this a hundred times. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, that's the reason why this is here. Plus all its crazy stuff that it can do. Well, friends. Good morning to you. Yeah, it's uh, it's early. I'm on the same schedule. It's uh, 4.25. And yes, uh, 
I've had one coffee, probably going to have another coffee. Um, so that's where you guys have seen. I was shooting separate videos that day when I put that, that because we've, we've had the saw shut down, friends, right? <laughs> so I've been trying to push out content that doesn't involve running power saw in a grassy field or in some guy's backyard where there's, you know what I mean? We're just, we're not really supposed to be, do we're not supposed to be doing it. There's a ban on it. It happens every once in a while. You got to be real hot and dry for that to happen while it's happening here. So I go towards stuff that doesn't involve that. Even though in my own yard with my hose sitting there ready to go, a cut here and there is probably okay. So, but I didn't want to push the limits. But anyways, friends, uh, that axe right at the end, I just showed you that. What a nice tool, super nice tool. Um, so friends, I've got a, I'm going to Vancouver tomorrow. It is now, it's, it's 426 on Tuesday morning. These home light power saws, oh, if you get the opportunity to, to, to pick up one of those uh, old saws, do it. They're lovely. They're lovely to run. Uh, so, so anyways, friends, we're, we're going to go over and do a collaboration with a guy, uh, in Vancouver, actually Richmond, I believe. And I'm going to fly over on the seaplane tomorrow at 9 a.m. My flight is at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Um, and then I'm going to catch the flight back at 4.30 that same day. So we got, we got some hammering to do, some blacksmithing to do. We're going to see if we can't pound out a couple axes. It's going to be fun. I'm going to start learning techniques of blacksmithing because, friends, our press is built pretty much. Uh, Brad at Broad River Forge is doing the uh, working on the tooling now for the wood bullet. <laughs> I've, I've stoked, friends. And not only that, when I build that shop over there, the blacksmith shop, it's going to be a full-on welding shop. Friends, I've... YouTube has changed my life so much. I've wanted to be... Learn to weld for years. Just when you're feeding a family and you're the sole provider, your hobbies kind of take a back, a back seat. They just do. But now that the kids are up, growing up, they're working for themselves now. And uh, it, my life's changing. I'm getting more free time, friends. Uh, so I'm able to do some stuff that I've always wanted to do. So uh, listen, Todd Thayer, friends, if you were on the live feed on Sunday, what a, it just warms my heart to do that for people. I was just saying, and there was another guy that came on the, the, uh, the channel there on a live feed. I think it was Thomas. He came in and said, hey, Bucket, my name's Thomas. I'm new to the channel. Love your channel. I said, Oh, you're new? This is your first live feed? Oh, well, how about we give you a t-shirt today? <laughs> just stuff like that. It just, when you're in this position to be able to give, just, I'll tell you, it, it sure feels nice. It sure feels nice. Oh, okay, I'll throw this in the video. I, I think I have a an, an assortment uh, of a letter that the Covenant House sent us, friends, speaking of giving. Friends, I want to share this with everybody because on our live feeds, you folks, someone will say, hey, uh, they'll do a super chat and they'll say Samaritan House or they'll say um, like Covenant House. The Covenant House, friends, is the youth in Vancouver that we support and donate to, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, Covenant House. This is from Covenant House um, in Vancouver, Seymour Street in Vancouver. Dear Buck and Billy Ray's Tree Service, thank you so much for your recent donation. The young people we help face so many challenges and your support make it possible for us to continue to provide love and hope 
to youth experiencing homelessness. With your support, we are helping young people who have often faced terrible situations in their past. They are victims of human trafficking. They have suffered physical, sexual, and mental abuse. They have witnessed drug and alcohol misuse by their family members and those who are meant to love them. As a result, the physical and emotional trauma has affected them and caused them to flee their homes, seeking refuge on the streets. Thankfully, your support is giving them food, clothing, and a safe place to sleep. You are providing them with a raft of services, including mental health and addiction counseling, life skills training and employment, and education support. Sorry, friends. You are enabling us to work one-on-one -on -one with each young person to build healthy relationships based on trust and respect. For many of the young people we see, there are the first, sorry, these are the first healthy relationships they have ever experienced. At Covenant House Vancouver, we are more than just a shelter or transitioning house, transitional house. With us, young people always have a place to call home. It's doing really well too. Good, and a family that genuinely cares for them, but we do it with you. Without your generous support, none of this would be possible from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. Honey, that is a that is a heartfelt, uh, uh, sincere message. Yeah, I really like that organization. Man, oh man, friends, please, thank you. I mean, we we do what we can, right, friends? I mean, you you people, you'll say on the when somebody super chats, they'll say, "Hey, Buck, and give this to the covenant." And I'll be like, "Done." So I want you to know that it happens. This isn't a joke to me, friends. Okay, it's not a joke. It's not some. It goes to them. Okay, so that was Covenant House, right? Now, Samaritan House, we donated to them again as well. Friends, check out this building. This is Samaritan's. This is what we were donating to right here, friends, for the for people that are home insecure. Right here, look at, look at this. Look at this freaking place. This is what we were supporting, friends, this channel. I'm so proud of us. Seriously, I'm, I'm freaking proud to be part of helping this. This, I just am. I'm super proud of this. This one's a little shorter. Uh, thank you so much for your recent donation. Every gift means so much to us. And Island Crisis Center Society at Island Crisis Society, Care Society, we work every day to share hope and dignity within our community. But we can't do it alone. When our community comes alongside us, as you have done, we are reminded that there is hope for a better future for those we serve. This is beautiful, friends. If you're interested in learning more about our programs and the work, visit our website at www.islandcrisissociety.ca or call our office, yada, yada, yada. I don't know about you, but that makes me feel good, real good. Thank you for joining uh, joining me on this, friends, because I know some of you do, and I thank you. I feel so good about this. Me and my wife have been doing this stuff. I don't toot off about this stuff very often, friends. I don't, but I'm telling you right now, me and my wife have been doing this stuff for years. We do third country stuff. We've had two sets of twins, eh, babe? Or no? No, they're not twins. One, sisters. They were sisters. One, we had a set of sisters. Yeah. Remember? They were. They, they were, were sisters. These ones are not. These ones are not. So the next ones we're working on are in school. Yeah, through World Vision. We just use World Vision. What? It's, they deal with it. It's wonderful. We've been doing it for years. It feels so good. You and I, we support that. So it's a pretty cool thing. It, it's, it's been a cool thing for us to do that. And they send us letters of gratitude back. And it just feels so good to give and help that out.
And of course, the Samaritan House, the battered women, and they built that complex downtown Nanaimo for 52 uh, families, I think. Just stuff like that, friends. It feels good to be able to do that. So there will be more of that. Uh, there just will be. It's what's in my heart. So uh, I'm looking forward to this collaboration. Uh, you'll see who it is tomorrow or the next day uh, when we upload the video, friends. So maybe I'll do a little vlog uh, traveling over there and stuff like that on the plane for you. So I'll have a couple more assertments into this video. But friends, I just wanted to pop in and, and kind of update and, and talk to you a little bit. So I hope you're enjoying things. Uh, be kind, and we'll catch you on the next one, friends. Over and out. Friends, if you can find it in your heart, in your daily travels, if your life is good, there's people out there that are struggling. There just is. And, and whatever the circumstances are, it's usually by our own choice, right? But it's still our choice if we want to help somebody. Even that guy behind us in the drive-thru, his day or her day could be going terrible. They could be struggling. They could be like just making it to work and having a hard time working. Just if you're doing good or even if you're not doing good, and get out of yourself and see if you can make somebody smile, friends. I think the more we can do that, the better the world's going to be. I truly, truly believe that in my heart. So... Let's try and do that for one another, friends. Shall we? Yeah. See you on the next one. Be kind, friends.